Hello, my people out on our day today on Bank TV. I hope say on our day well. <clears throat> Another Ogbongen news to come on our earning from Bank TV. Who to tell my Igbo people? Eh, could they dey ask you? Oh my, you bad people. Una kwa na na go dey my house. People on Bank TV. Here now another Ogbongen news. Here is the news headline. Most oil pipeline in Nigeria were built almost seventy years ago. Have outlived their lifespan, minister said. Here is the news in full. The Minister for State for Petroleum Resources, Enekin Lopobiri, says the majority of Nigerian oil pipeline infrastructure was constructed around 70 years ago when the country first discovered oil. He noted that these facilities have now exceeded their expected lifespan. Lopobiri made this disclosure in a statement on Monday when he received Mr. Salim Al Shamse, the United Arab Emirates ambassador to Nigeria and his delegation in his office in Abuja. The minister said Nigeria need to attract investment in the oil and gas sector to boost infrastructural development in the industry. He noted that the visit aimed to enhance the relationship between Nigeria and the United Arab Emirates, promoting increased collaboration and mutual advantages in the energy sector. The minister emphasized the advantages of the Petroleum Industry Act PIA, noting that it offers a solid legal structure that ensures investment return and has substantially transformed the oil and gas industry. Bobili pointed out that the PIA establishes a secured and lucrative investment environment, positioning Nigeria as a desirable destination for investors. We are focused on ramping up our oil production at the same time. We are inviting the United Arab Emirates investors to look at Nigeria as a prime destination. Our business environment is friendly and our crude deposits are vast. We need to create more opportunities for investment to come in so that we can create the requisite funding for us to be able to finance our transition. Nigeria has enormous investment opportunities. Our pipelines need renewal. The pipelines have been there for over 50 years. Nigeria found oil in commercial quantities in 1956 to 1958. From then, then till now, it's almost 70 years and most of those pipelines were built around that time, so they have already outlived their lifespan. Even if you have the capacity to produce more to produce, you need to evacuate to the terminal where you could do exports. So it's an opportunity we are actually looking up for, up to for potential investors from the United Arab Emirates to come and invest and recover their money through those investments, he said. On his part, Al Shamsi expressed optimism about the significant potential within Nigeria's energy sector and commended the efforts to foster a favorable investment climate. He added that the technical team from both the Ministry and the United Arab Emirates Embassy would need to meet to discuss potential collaboration. Al Shamsi emphasized the importance of exploring partnership opportunities between the two countries. Our countries have much to gain from continued collaboration, he said. While being a leading oil producing nation, Nigeria still struggles to meet its OPEC quota as a result of so many factors such as oil theft, low investment, and infrastructure inadequacy in the sector. Earlier this year, Lokbiri had attributed the low crude oil production in first quarter of the year to issues with the trans Niger pipeline and maintenance activity by some oil companies. Meanwhile, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu signed a raft of executive orders geared towards attracting investment and boosting productivity in the oil sector that has seen significant divestment from international oil companies, IOC. In the last few years, the current administration also said it aimed to increase the country's oil production to an ambitious 4 million barrels daily by the end of the decade. My people, now the Obunga news, they come on our side again from Bankombi TV. As we all know, say, uh, the four Tinumbu plan say double Nigerian crude oil production raised. 17.4 billion through sales to the NNPC asset. So now, now everything we go make our country better and define.
ABC so that we could really get enough petrol. All the queen for station say we won't buy petrol, they carry keg up and down. Because if it's out, we know say they don't talk, I'm saying 4 million barrels, they won't make it they come up. As this has been said earlier, Nigeria newly inaugurated President Bola Metinumbu administration and announced ambitious program and target for Nigeria energy industry, citing a target of 4 million barrels per day production capacity by 2030, and also 12 BCF slash D gas production capacity from 3.5 BCF of gas production capacity. This said, they said this can be done by mandating the NNPCL and NUPRC slash NMDRPRA to close up outstanding investment stream of policy making rules and sell down NNPCL's joints venture to minority position and develop an operating model that eliminates cash call with targeted rates of $17.4 billion. This was disclosed in the report by the Energy and Natural Resources Subcommittee of the Bola Ametinumbu Advisory Council, proposing changes to energy growth in Nigeria, energy and natural resource sector view. According to the report, Nigeria is currently producing 3.5 BCD of gas production capacity and 1.4 megabars per second of oil production capacity. That's 2,500 kg petrochemical capacity. The forecasted target for 2030 include milestone of 12 BCF gas production capacity and 4 mmm BPD oil production capacity and 7,500 petrochemical capacity. Yeah, the report noted that to each those targets, Nigeria oil and gas sector must address its current challenges, restore growth, and sustain production to deliver economic growth. The listed highlight of present economy and sector challenges, which are $70 billion worth of investment lost in petroleum industry since 2011, also due to the absence of the PIA. Insecurity is a major sector challenge. $46.16 billion was lost to crude oil thefts between 2009 and 2020. Also, $10.70 billion was lost annually to PMS subsidy and inefficiencies associated with the purchase, distribution, and sales of PMS. Governance and regulatory concern have eroded investors' confidence, diverting private capital needed for the development of official critical oil and gas infrastructure. Cumulatively, these have reduced the energy sector contributions to economic goods and deprived citizens of the necessary infrastructure and social amenities required for improving living standards. My people, now the Obonga news, they come on a site today from all Star from Bankambi TV. Don't forget to subscribe on Bankambi TV. We promise to always give you the Obonga news. See you in another Obonga update from Bankambi TV.